we stay in the uh, same uh, topic about uh, public aquarium at the Museum Aquarium <coughs> of uh, Nancy. Well, uh, as already said by uh, previous uh, presentations, um, collaborations between aquarium and uh, fish bays is a question of uh, material benefits. But first of all, uh, we have to uh, identify and collect the relevant information available in aquarium. We have also to format the data to uh, import on them current currently in fish baits. And there is also a need to uh, set up the communication. Uh, indeed, uh, in the past, some contacts have already made uh, between uh, some aquaria and fish baits, but uh, they never led to uh, effective uh, relations. So the purpose uh, of this presentation is uh, to uh, present you uh, the early onset of collaboration between the Museum Aquarium of Nancy and the uh, uh, fish base. Bearing in mind, uh, this could serve as a good example, even a modus operandi uh, for other institutions from other aquarium. Uh, first of all, uh, a little about the uh, history of the man, uh, the Museum Aquarium of Nancy, uh, in order to better understand its uh, situation. Uh, first of all, on uh, this map of uh, UK members, the uh, Museum Aquarium is uh, located here, in the east of France, and uh, one of its important features is that it results from the collaboration between a university and a city. Uh, the origin of the building dates back to the 30s. Um, at the time, uh, the Professor Credo, uh, which was a professor of uh, zoology, obtained from the city uh, this building in the center of the city. Uh, it was uh, first uh, dedicated to host the Faculty of Sciences and to host the collection of natural history. Well, here, the ground floor with uh, teaching facilities for students, and uh, the first floor uh, with uh, natural history collections that can be visited by the public. Uh, in the 60s, um, we have the first aquarium that have been installed at uh, the ground floor. Uh, at that time, uh, Professor Condé, uh, who was uh, a professor of zoology at the Faculty of Biology and Sciences, and uh, who was a curator of the museum, uh, started to uh, install the first aquarium. Uh, he was the first uh, a specialist of uh, soil uh, microarthropods, but he was also an uh, aquarium lover and uh, he devoted uh, a part of his activity to fish for them. He created also um, an aquarist association that is uh, still an activity nowadays, and this association played an important role in the evolution of the aquarium. Bruno um, Condé was uh, rapidly joined by Denis Carver, assistant professor at the Faculty of Sciences and Assistant Curator of uh, the Museum. Danny um, Tavaf uh, began his career working in the reproductive compartment of uh, cichlids from uh, tropical Africa. And uh, with the growing interest uh, of the public from Aquarium, in the 60s, the whole ground floor has been converted uh, in an aquarium. You are here. Uh, the situation in 1973 with, in red, the 70 aquarium uh, presented <coughs> to the public. Indeed, at that time, uh, the ground floor was left free by the moving of the teaching facilities in a new campus uh, located in the periphery of the city. Uh, you have here uh, a view of the current uh, scenography. 
Um, of course, uh, due to uh, inland vegetation <coughs> and due to the constraints of the building uh, that was uh, not at all uh, intended to this purpose, uh, we have only a small aquarium. Our biggest aquarium is uh, 15 cubic meters, if I remember well. And uh, this uh, prevents us to present big species. So our purpose is to promote close observation of species and reconstitution of ecosystem at a small scale. So, uh, what is important to understand is that uh, uh, the aquarium started uh, with a research activity. First of all, uh, research on uh, aquarium techniques and maintenance of various species. Um, then, uh, there are also uh, research activities on electric fish in relation to uh, the monitoring of uh, water quality and uh, there was also uh, aquaculture research the unit research which I belong with uh, Fabrice uh, deals with uh, aquaculture it was located first in the basements of the aquarium and then moved uh, a few years ago uh, in the campus of the Faculty of Sciences with this experience in aquariology and aquaculture, as Fabrice already told uh, you, uh, this experience led to the development of a professional bachelor. So, I come now to the interaction with the fish base. Uh, indeed, uh, many potentially interesting information are available in aquarium. Uh, first of all, I will talk about uh, pictures. Uh, in the case, of uh, the Museum Aquarium of Nancy. The first picture was taken from uh, 1967 to illustrate uh, research activities. Uh, first on uh, reproductive compartment on, uh, of a secret, but uh, also a uh, picture was used to support uh, the aquarium settlement's evolution in association with collection of uh, various data on uh, compartment, swimming, coloration, and so on. And this picture has been also used as an illustration of technical sheets in uh, aquariology, technical sheets uh, published by uh, Denis Terveil. First, the picture were a silver slide, and then, uh, of course, uh, the man moved uh, to uh, uh, numeric pictures. And uh, currently, the photo library of man has been uh, fully digitized. And uh, we have uh, 3,455 pictures. Uh, this concerns uh, 19, uh, 921 species from uh, more or less uh, 140 families. Uh, first of all, it's important uh, to uh, select uh, relevant pictures and uh, potentially interesting for a fish base. And um, as a first information, uh, the precise and reliable information identification of species is uh, absolutely obligatory. And then uh, we uh, selected interest of the picture. Uh, these interests can be uh, various, depending uh, on the case, uh, lacking picture in the database, or better quality of the picture than uh, existing ones, uh, illustration of a particular compartment, of uh, different uh, uh, geographical origin, and so on. Then the data are compiled in a fish that uh, has been shaped by uh, Nicolas Bailly and uh, just as uh, an illustration you have a part of the file here with the obligatory uh, data with gender, species, name of the file of the pieces, name of the photograph and uh, so on, optional uh, data, geographical origin, set, language <coughs> and so on. Uh, at the moment, uh, the first 500 uh, pictures of our libraries have been uh, selected. And uh, from this first part, 
205 pictures have been dispatched to uh, fish base. Uh, it covers uh, 131 species, and uh, currently 100 are uh, available online. Just a few examples. Uh, for example, uh, this uh, cichlid from uh, uh, Central America was not uh, illustrated as an ally specimen until now. Uh, we send also this picture as an illustration of the specimen which was used to describe the, the species and uh, a third illustration with uh, this picture showing uh, unusual coloration in uh, more, um, more common species in aquariology, uh, the clown triggerfish. Another possibility of uh, um, interaction between uh, aquaria and fish base is the sharing of data. Uh, of course, uh, all aquaria are data on uh, host uh, species. Uh, it's a list of species, uh, morphometric data, morphology variations, comportment, longevity, reproduction, and life stage, and uh, so on. In the case of the Museum Aquarium of Nancy, um, uh, the aquarium has uh, its own review, uh, the Revue Française de l'Aquariologie et l'Arctologie. Uh, it was edited as a quarterly review from 1974 to 1999, and uh, you have here a few examples of articles published in this uh, review. Um, we have uh, articles dealing with um, um, technical data for the maintenance of uh, fishes, but uh, we have also descriptions of uh, new species, uh, data on uh, comportment, and uh, so on. The review uh, deals with uh, reptiles, amphibians, recipher, invertebrates, but most of the articles uh, are focused on fish. Um, currently, this uh, review has been uh, fully uh, digitized, and the next step for us is to dispatch the data to FishBase. Um, we have to evaluate uh, if we dispatch it as uh, PDF files or uh, as uh, data extracted from the articles. And uh, third, um, with the with the experience of the Museum Aquarium in Museology, a certain number of fish have been fixed in formal dialogue uh, after their death. Uh, it uh, leads to the fruit collection uh, as a patrimonial and study specimen of the Museum Aquarium. Um, we have uh, more or less 800 flasks uh, concerning uh, nearly 400 uh, species. Uh, the selection of individuals for conservation, you have here an example of a criteria used to select uh, the, the interest of individuals for conservation. Known origin, unknown species, long lifespan, poorly known species, of course the time of uh, conservation, hybrid or aberrant coloration, and uh, in uh, some cases a batch with high number of uh, specimens. And uh, more important, uh, like uh, all aquaria, we have the opportunity to collect uh, morphometric data on current alive specimen or uh, dead specimen just after their, their death. So, as a conclusion, um, the relation uh, between fish base and aquaria is a question of a uh, win win relation. Indeed, uh, aquaria have uh, many pictures and data that can increase the database. The more often these data are quite uh, easy to collect when uh, uh, it is upon uh, morphometric data. But uh, as uh, Fabrice told you, uh, aquaria have also um, uh, difficult data to obtain with uh, data on uh, reproduction. 
and uh, I'm uh, intimately convinced that uh, these data are particularly, particularly relevant uh, when uh, we think of the extraordinary diversity of uh, reproductive traits in fish. Uh, for aquaria, the interest is a better recognition, a greater exposure of activities, uh, especially regarding the pressure of uh, public opinion and the pressure of regulatory uh, constraints. When I think also uh, uh, of uh, reproduction, uh, more and more aquaria are engaging in breeding programs, either to break uh, free from uh, supplies from the wild or to uh, engage in processing and uh, conservation programs. So, um, the example of uh, Museum Aquarium of Nancy it's, is perhaps a little particular with uh, its relation with the uh, university, but uh, it is far from being an exception in the aquaria world, as uh, all aquaria have uh, data to share. So, many potential data are available in aquarium. This need, as Fabrice told you, uh, the identification of a fish based representative to uh, set up an effective communication. And uh, we hope that uh, what we have done until now and uh, uh, what uh, we are going to do in the future could pave the way for uh, other aquarium. And Maybe in the future it could lead to a research program including aquarium. I would finish uh, my presentation uh, by uh, many thanks to uh, my colleagues that uh, participate to this uh, presentation. Uh, Nicolas Raquel from uh, Fishbase, Christian Laurent, Sandra and Pierre Antoine from the museum and my colleague Fabrice from Lorraine University. Thank you.